Have you ever wondered if it's possible to repair an old film camera? Maybe you picked up one on eBay and you're having issues with it. Michael Scott, Scotty Man Photo. I think fixing an old SLR camera is it's the equivalent of dismantling the tiny components of an analog watch and, and then just trying to put them all back together again. These old cameras have many minuscule and intricate parts that require more than just, just having a bit of dexterity with your hands. In fact, some repairs, they're just better left to the experts. But in the past, I've certainly purchased my fair share of old camera gear from eBay and other sources. And honestly, I'm a big proponent of, of buying gear from eBay. And with a little attention to detail, I think it's possible to get an incredible deal on some of these old forgotten treasures. However, when buying your gear from eBay, you, you may be taking the opinion of someone that, that might not have a great deal of knowledge or experience in the gear they're actually selling. In fact, it, it may be a family member selling an old 35 millimeter camera that, that once belonged to grandpa. And, uh, and, and they, may know, they may know nothing or just, just maybe a little bit about it. But, but still, that doesn't mean you should just close up shop and close your eBay account and, and give it up. But I am saying that if you find your camera in need of service and you're unable to handle the repairs yourself, there are options out there still available for getting these old film cameras and even the lenses repaired. In fact, I was having an issue with a sticky shutter on my F2AS and I realized that um, yeah, I'm just not qualified to make these repairs. But despite watching a, a number of uh, YouTube videos uh, on fixing cameras, I just I just felt like it wasn't the repair for me. I mean, the amount of complexity involved in these cameras is just quite impressive, to say the least. I mean, even though they're, they're not super electronic like they, like they are now, there's still, they're still a lot to these cameras. Tiny little components and springs that can just fly off and go everywhere. It just wasn't a repair that, that I was willing to take on with no experience. So I began researching on how others had solved similar issues and came across a website called Fog Dog, Fog Dog Photography. And after reading a bit of the, um, uh, the blog, I was reading about Jim Holman's camera service and international camera technicians, or otherwise known as ITC. So what is ITC? Well, it's a full service camera and lens repair facility. And Jim also has a shop on eBay and, and that's called Holman ITC. So who is Jim? Well, Jim's a repair technician. He's been doing this for over 35 years. And he specializes in camera and lens repair, specifically these old film cameras that we love so much. In fact, he's particularly skilled at repairing older lenses that don't even have parts anymore. I mean, and that's pretty impressive when you think about it. He's also been an authorized Nikon and Canon and Sigma technician. And, uh, and he does have a few videos out there on YouTube which show some of his repairs and, and really after watching that, that's how I really got the idea that this was the guy to, to work on my Nikon. Because just the, the equipment that he has in his shop and the, the, the way he handled the camera, that was the one I wanted to send my camera to. So, But I did speak with Jim and I did encourage him to, to make more of those videos. I think they're fantastic. Uh, but anyway, the, the process for getting your camera repaired is pretty straightforward. Basically, you have two options. One, you can set up the repair through eBay, or two, you can do it directly through the website at ITC. But depending on the equipment you're sending, the evaluation costs, they may vary, so it's better to speak directly to Jim about, about the evaluation cost. Uh, based on ITC's website, it's $50 per item, but the prices vary on eBay, and, and they can be as low as $20. Basically, you can go on eBay, and you can select uh, kind of the, the camera repair, and it'll, you'll pay the initial evaluation fee and then send the camera. But uh, the evaluation costs go towards testing and checking everything out in the camera. The evaluation, as advertised, takes three to five days. Throughout the process, you'll have great communication with Jim. I called him on the phone, but uh, he also has a, a portal that you can communicate to through once you start the process. But uh, in my experience, the response was only about one day, so I, I think about a day I was in touch with Jim. So once you paid for the evaluation, you'll fill out a service agreement and that's where you're going to put your camera serial number and kind of the details of the repair. Um, also, uh, you can send pictures and ask further questions through the portal, which is really nice. So then you'll uh, pack up the camera and you'll basically whatever shipping method that you choose at your cost and you'll, you'll ship the camera out. And of course, you're, you're going to want to package things up nicely. So you are sending a camera and maybe a lens. So, But Jim recommends about three inches above a wrap. 
Then you simply want to wait for Jim to receive the package. Following the evaluation, he'll send you an estimate for the repairs. Now, ITC's website states that if you choose to decline the estimate, he'll ship it back to you at economy at no charge. However, if you authorize the work, he'll get started on it pretty quickly. Jim also performs a CLA, that's a clean lubricate and adjust. The CLA also includes replacement of the light seals, as well as minor parts like missing screws and, cos and a cosmetic cleaning. Now, one of the best things about this process is that Jim, he warranties this work for six months. But in order to get that six month warranty, you have to do the CLA, so you can't forego that which includes the light seals. So if you've already done light seals, you're going to get new light seals again. But honestly, if you're buying an older camera from eBay or somewhere, somewhere else, you may want to just send it in for the benefits of the, the CLA alone and new light seals. Although I think replacing light seals are pretty simple and pretty straightforward for most people anyway. But you may prefer to let Jim do this as well. So uh, I, I can tell you that his light seal replacement that I've seen on my camera was just spectacular. So he really does a good job, a lot of attention to detail. And I'm, I'm pretty detail oriented when I, when I do these light seals and I, I want them perfect. So Jim's uh, light seals didn't, did not disappoint. So, but anyway, so once the repairs are complete, you'll be notified that the camera is ready and it'll be shipped back to you uh, based on a shipping method that you selected prior to. So basically when you fill out the paperwork. So as for my experience, I paid $260 for the repair and the entire process took 21 days from the date I shipped the camera to the day it was actually back in the house. So, and this price included the CLA, the return shipping and all the parts, which actually included a broken battery box that I didn't even know anything about. So that's something to think about. It also included the, sh uh, the shutter service that I needed for my sticky shutter, the light seals and there was also a check of my light meter to make sure it was functioning properly. The camera was packaged very well and included a thumb drive, which had detailed pictures of the entire repair process. And as you can see, this was no small undertaking. You may think this is a lot of money for an old, old camera repair, and, and maybe it is, but it depends on what it's worth to you. As for myself, I, I hope this repair provides me with many years of service. And I realize that some of us may be capable of doing these repairs ourselves, but honestly, I would dare to say that there's not many out there that could do this. Personally speaking, as an electrician by trade, I'll leave you with this thought. Jim's not merely being paid for performing tasks that you see in these pictures, but rather for his 35 years of experience in, in doing exactly what we're paying him to do. And that's what you're paying for. You're paying for his knowledge and experience. Anyway, I hope you found this useful and, and if you did hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel and leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts. And as always, if I don't see you down the road, maybe I'll see you on the trail.